fast. Same time all that's going on, Europe, look at you. All right. So first of all, let's look at the European feed. Let's go actually check the EMSC Mediterranean last 50 earthquakes. So this is going to show us everything into last night. So Switzerland last night, we can get all that off the map. Let's just look at what struck today. So here's pretty much today's activity. You can see it, a nice swarm of threes and twos across Turkey and Greece. Well, every time we know a swarm of threes and twos, if you add these all up together, we go up into the 4.0 range. It takes 10 threes to equal one four. It takes 10 twos to equal one three. So we have over 10 twos. We have at least 10 threes that have struck in the last two days, some of them going up to 3.7. So what does that mean? It means the cumulative total is there and the potential to strike to the west of here, where all these earthquakes are right now in Turkey and Greece, we have to look to the west, which way our arrow goes. And then you'll see that brings us right into Italy. Where in Italy? Well, look where our 3.1 earthquake is. See that? And the 2.8 down in Sicily. It's only a small little area we have to watch between the 3.1 and the 2.8. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the potential of up to a 5. Now, there's several reasons we're looking for a potential up to a 5. This includes a 5 that struck a few days ago down in Greece. But if you add in all this other activity, that alone says it's going to be there. It's going to be there soon. Now, I'm going to turn on the Italy feed, the INGV. This is for Italy. And take a look. All right, there's a nice little stack of twos currently in Norcia in central Italy and a nice little stack of earthquakes down at Sicily. But you'll notice several of these are raised somewhat high off the globe. These are deeper earthquakes. Well, guys, that's not the only deep earthquake that struck in the past day. You may have just seen it as I was waving it around on the map, but let's bring it back up. Over here at the plate boundary in Romania, take a look at the 3.0. Here, let me zoom in on it. Okay, here is Romania right along our S-shaped bend of the Eastern European Craton. And the Craton is just another word for the plate. So the Eastern European plate and a 3.0 striking there, deep. Well, a deep 3.0 means a shallow 4.0 to 5.0 is possible within 48 hours. Add in the other deep earthquake down here below South Italy, which means a shallow 3.8 to 4.8 is possible within 48 hours. So we have two deep earthquakes, Italy and Romania. That's going to lead to larger movement in Europe. There's no way around it. With all the other twos and threes down in Greece and Turkey, it's just kind of like an additional, that's the sprinkles on top of the cake. That's letting us know, look, it's all right there. It's taking about a day longer than I thought it was going to take for it to hit, but it's rolling into you right now. So keep watch. If we get through tomorrow and everything's all good, we'll cancel the warning. But right now, I want you to be on watch for that potential of upper four to lower five in central Italy, just in case doesn't hurt to be prepared. And I know right here at the holidays, if you get hit with a five, everybody's going to freak. And you shouldn't because it's based upon what's coming in. It's not terribly large. It's just enough to get your attention when it finally hits. And a five is enough to cause cracks in walls. Stone structures can be weakened, but not collapse. So we're not talking about a huge earthquake yet. And I say yet because we had a couple new deep earthquakes in the past couple of days.